The iPod fits into our lives in a lot of ways, and depending on your lifestyle, it can be a passive or active part of your life. Now, Caroline, I know you love your iPod, probably a little more active area of your life than mine, which might be a little more passive. I think so. I think we do enjoy our iPods in different ways. Mm -hmm. um, I think that Apple's designers are magicians in uh, integrating all of their products, their software, and I think the iLife applications are probably the best example of this. Agreed. I know you're a big fan. Absolutely. Yes, as am I. But what they've done now is they've taken two of their most popular products, the iTunes, as well as the iPod Nano, and they've partnered with Nike to create the Nike Plus system. Now, I, I, it was just a matter of time before somebody yes. worked out some way of fitting yeah. all this stuff. Because you go to the gym, not that I spend a lot of time at the gym, but everybody's <laughs> got an MP3 player stuck in their ears at the gym. Nobody talks anymore. Yeah, I know. Well, I've been using my iPod for a long time uh, for working out. I've already integrated into my lifestyle, as a lot of people have. But this, they basically created this to fit the growing demand. People want more interactive ways to use their products, and they want more interactive software to use the Nano and things like that. So this basically just fits the demand that people have been asking okay, for. Okay, so the Nike Plus is a system. Yes. It's designed really for runners, but I guess yes. walkers can use it too. Yes, absolutely. Now, what are the parts of the system? Well, there's three parts. Of course, you need to get the gear. So there are the shoes. Mm, uh, the Nike shoes. Yes. The, well, there's lots of different kinds for men and women. Okay. So there are the Nike Plus shoes. We've got the Nike Sport Kit and the Nano. Okay. Yes. And so uh, what's special about the shoes? The shoes, the reason why they're different is because under the left sole, there is a bit of a pocket. Mm. And the, in the pocket fits this chip here. And this actually create or collects the real-time data about your run. With every step, it's creating data and sending it wirelessly to the Nano. And, actually, and the ni Nano uses this little receiver yes, unit here, yeah. which plugs in. And this is only for the Nano. Only for the Nano. It's only set up right now for the okay, Nano. Okay, so yeah. it just connects here to the bottom of the Nano. And yep. something very cool happens as soon as we plug it into the Nano, which I will show you is the Nano itself recognizes that this is plugged in right away. Yep. And we notice there's a new setting right away. It says Nike, Nike Plus. Plus. Yes. Yeah, so it's, we can go in there and we can actually manage. It's now, how many settings do you have to set? Is this complicated to set up? It's unbelievably easy to set up, like most of Apple's products actually. So you can go in and you can set whether you want to collect your uh, mileage, or sorry, your distance in miles or kilometers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, another important feature, of course, is... Setting up your weight. Yes, yeah, setting up the weight because this... <laughs> What this, this isn't your goal weight. This no, is your not, existing no, weight. No, that's your starting weight. Uh -huh. And because what this will do is it will track your uh, your speed, your pace, your distance, and your calories burned. So ah. setting up your current weight will help to collect that data because it needs it needs that information. It doesn't laugh at you if you put it in. No, no, no. But okay. hopefully the point is that you know over a couple of weeks you'll be turning that number down. Now I notice here the power song thing is is a big part of it. This yes. is your playlist. That's your playlist. That's your workout playlist. And then what will happen is that while you're running or walking over you know a few minutes there will be you can set it to a very lovely woman's voice mm -hmm. or, or a man's voice and it will come on and say you've run this distance your pace is this oh. you've gone for this amount of time so you're getting some feedback kind of like coaching feedback. Yeah. well it's not so much coaching but it's just basically instant real-time feedback so it doesn't say get your button gear dotto you're no, slagging no no oh, won't okay. say that May, they might make one for couch potatoes I used to yet. hear that from my coaches a lot oh really <laughs> okay now the now I noticed when I was on the iTunes site yep. that they have a whole selection of sport music right here available they that you do. can purchase and download. Yeah. Now this stuff even takes that metaphor even farther, doesn't it? Because this includes yeah. music that's specially designed for pace, yes. for doing different types of training, and you tell me there's some actual coaching in here. Yeah, they're set up to be great workouts because if you can't get to your running group or say you have a, a you know a regular running partner and mm -hmm. you can't meet at a specific time but you don't want to lag on your workouts then this is a great you download one of these workouts and the the music is set for the pace they take you over the course whether yeah again whether your goal is speed distance um in gaining endurance and it's a great motivational tool for, as well for people that might not know where to start okay for their fitness yeah so we've downloaded so every time our foot hits the ground information transfers into yes. our Nano. Yes. So we've got the information in here. What happens once the information's in the Nano? Well, you can either store it and keep it stored in your Nano, mm -hmm. or on the Nike Plus website, you can upload your information directly to the website. Okay, and here I've got the Nike Plus website yeah. up. Okay, so you set up an account on this, yeah, it's and free. then when you connect yeah. your Nano, automatically the information downloads into the site, Yes. so you can track your progress. And yeah. here's a sample run progress. This is actually my run from this morning. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I did this. I went, I went on my, it was my five-mile run. Oh, really? I'm so proud of you.
of you. Yeah, well, it's, it's, <laughs> today's my distance work. Well, one of the great things about this site is it's so visual. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people, the reason why they get technology is because it's fun, and this makes it a lot of fun. And you can see over the course of time, they have great looking graphs. Yeah. And so this extra feedback really helps. It, it does. And again, for people, you know, that are either training for something or again, for people that don't know where to start, this really shows them step by step how they're doing and sort of takes them along the way. Okay, and yeah. I notice there's also additional products here. I guess there's different types of shoes because yeah. those shoes aren't going to fit for everybody. No, see, these fit me right, really well because I have narrow feet. So for ah. women, these are great shoes. If you have narrow feet, for there's also wider shoes. For men, different kinds of shoes as well. So, I mean, they've really, they're tailoring it for all different kinds of people. Okay. Now, I think I know the reason that I haven't been doing a lot of running is it's how I like to listen to my music. I don't necessarily like the earbuds. Oh. I like, I like using this. See this one? I saw that this on the Apple. Yes, I saw that on the website. Apple's new Hi-Fi. Oh. Now, it's hard to run with, but it's awesome for listening to tunes. It would tunes. be a little bit heavy, yeah. So this is one of the iPod boom boxes. This, the, the technology they put in the speakers is absolutely amazing. They cluster a small amount of speakers into, into a small form factor, and the kind of sound that comes out of these things is phenomenal. How this thing works is you simply drop your iPod into the top. Mm -hmm. Once you've dropped it in, it's automatically it's starting to charge already, and then you can just hit play, select your playlist. Oh, is one of our favorite artists. Oh, it's great. And, but it fills the room with sound. For small yeah. apartments, for that sort of stuff, this is awesome quality sound. And this thing also will allow you to plug in an external audio source. So if you have a DVD player, but you don't have a sound system at home, this becomes your sound system for watching movies. As well, it'll accept D batteries, D cell batteries. So if you need to tailgate or you're at the beach and you want some good tunes, this is the perfect companion for the iPod. It sounds great. See, I, I, I love it. I like this better than the running thing. Oh, I like really? sitting down, chilling, listening. This, this works for me. Well, maybe we can integrate the two. Maybe we can. <laughs> We're going to take a quick break. When we return, we still have more iPodding to come. For everything digital, visit a London Drugs store or click on www.londondrugs.com.